This is a tutorial for the Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover semi-solid brushes and BSP. In my last video, I showed you the Add Special button, which is this one here. And if you click on that button, you have a, a wide range of choices. And today we're going to focus on this one, which is called the Semi-Solid Pillar. So as you can see here, when you choose semi-solid pillar, you have one pre-selected choice, which is that the brush you make will be semi-solid instead of solid or non-solid. So if I click on OK, there's my brush. And I will make another brush as a comparison using the normal method, which is called add brush. So in the game, when you're playing your map, you won't see any difference. These are, they will look identical and they will block your player movement, they will block your shots, and they look the same. So uh, let me just click on one more thing to show you. You can also take an existing additive brush, which is the blue one here, right click on it, solidity, semi-solid. Now when you rebuild, both of these are semi-solid brushes as you can see here. This one and that one. So if they behave the same in the game, why do we need them? To explain that, I need to briefly go into what BSP is all about. So I must confess that I'm not really an expert on binary space partitioning but if you're interested I will post some links in the bottom in the description so you can do further research but in a nutshell binary space partitioning also known as BSP is an effective method to render scenes in a 3d game environment the game engine will render polygons in the order of furthest to closest and the BSP tree sorts the polygons into a tree of what we call nodes quickly and efficiently so that we know which polygons are furthest from the camera at runtime. So let's take a quick example. Let's suppose you have four walls in your map. One, two, three, and four. The Unreal Game Engine needs to know how they're going to render this scene when you are here at wall A and you're looking in this direction. And the BSP tree, which is shown here on the left, explains how the engine performs the calculation of sorting out all of the different nodes. So if you start here and you're on this plane, which is this polygon here, and you're looking this direction, first thing you do is always cut the space into two and hence the word binary. The stuff that's behind you, which you cannot see, and the stuff that's in front of you, which you can see. So in this case, B1, C1, and D1 you cannot see because you're facing in this direction. Now, you have to take this whole plane, because even though the polygon is from here to here, you have to imagine that the plane is extended all the way out to here, and all the way out to here and that's why these have been cut into two pieces a C1 and a C2 and this piece has been cut as well a D1 and the rest so continuing on from A you can't see B1 so that's where B1 is here and from B1 you can see D1 but you can't see C1 and notice how it's cut. So that's why these two nodes are underneath B1. One for what they can see and one that they cannot see. So remember we were at B1 and you can see D1, but from D1 there's nothing left. And so that's the end of that node. And now moving to what you can see, you've got B2 and from B2 you can see D2 which is this piece, but only up to here. So you have to imagine that the plane of B2 has extended right to here 
and then D3 cannot be seen. And then on this side, B2 can see D2, but it cannot see C2, and that's why C2 has its own node, but C2 can see D3. So effectively what the BSP does is it takes your simple map of your four walls and from this particular vantage point calculates which polygons can be seen and which ones cannot be seen and so if you can do this efficiently you're going to save a lot of time because right off the bat the engine will tell you don't bother with this whole section of the tree you don't have to render it because the player who's standing here can't see these pieces but they can see these pieces and then how do you render these pieces well the next piece is called the painter's algorithm so if you imagine that you are a painter and you're painting a landscape you have to start with the stuff at the very back which is in this case are the mountains and the the grass then at the very end you put the trees which are in effect the closest so you're rendering from the furthest to the closest so in this particular example of BSP you're gonna start uh, remember we can see these pieces you're gonna start from the farthest piece and then move in towards your original point so you start off with four polygons but it generated eight nodes now with that in mind we're going to go back to the editor and I'm going to show you what I've done here I've created some different rooms so you can take a look the next room is a square room and to make it more interesting I put these nice pillars so I have these nice pillars in here using the add brush so that's why these brushes are blue and in the final room I come over here I took the same pillars but this time they're semi-solid hence the pink color so remember now to the player there's no difference but let's go into the game and take a look at the statistics Here's the room where I added the four pillars. So I'm, if I just move over a little bit so you can see everything, you can see how it jumps pretty high. There are approximately 120 nodes and about 35 polys. And in the final example here, In the final example here, you can see that with the semi-solid pillars, the nodes are down to 34 and the polys are 34. So it's as if the engine has completely eliminated the need for extra nodes because there's a special treatment that the Unreal Engine does to take care of semi-solids. So the lesson here in this case is if you're gonna build some curved surfaces, and they're really mainly for decoration, then you're better off using semi-solids instead of solids. So now that we've seen a very simple example, I want to go into the game and run one of the official maps. So you get an idea for the benchmark for polys and nodes. So as you can see here, we're topping out at about 290 nodes and 140 polys.
And the final thing I want to show you while we're in DM Tempest is if I click on one of the semi-solid brushes right here, what you can do is you can click, right click on it, select all semi-solids. So now you can see how they use semi-solid brushes. For the most part, they are in decorative areas which don't affect the gameplay, such as these ceiling light fixtures, window frames, ceiling beams, and in one case there is a stair that's actually semi-solid, but for the most part these are all the different window, window frames and these are light fixtures up here as well. So the takeaway here is try to use semi-solids for decorative brushes that don't affect gameplay, number one. And number two, what you want to shoot for is approximately a two to one ratio of nodes to polys. And Tempest is highly optimized, obviously, but they were peaking out at around 280 nodes. So I think that if you're making your map, you could probably go up to safely maybe 400 nodes. So you're looking at maybe 400 nodes uh, with a 2 to 1 ratio would be 200 polys and knowing that if you go higher then you risk having some performance issues let's say if your map is publicly released and you have you know 16 players on it then you might experience some performance issues and it has nothing to do with the power of your PC it's also got to do with the engine itself this is after all a 17 year old game